So in this video, we're going to work through a few examples of how to combine Boolean operators. If you haven't watched the video yet, which introduces the three basic logic gates and truth tables, go back and watch that video first. So just as a recap, we're showing you here the four logic gate symbols and the associated truth tables you need to know about for the GCSE exam. We've gone over these in more detail in a previous video, so if you've not watched that, go back first. On the left, we see the NOT gate that simply reverses the input. Then we have our AND gate, where both inputs have to be true for the output to be true. Then we have the OR gate, where at least one input needs to be true, and as long as that's the case, the output is true. And finally, the XOR or exclusive OR gate, where only one input is allowed to be true, the other one must be false, and in this case, the output is true. Up until now, we've been presenting logic gates and circuits in the form of diagrams by using the symbol shown in the middle column. However, we can also express any logic gate or circuit diagram in a text based way, and there is specific notation for this. Now, it should be noted that there is no one single standard notation for what we call Boolean algebra. And indeed, different exam boards and different books use different notation. So it's worth spending a minute and becoming comfortable with the notation that AQA use. So in a text format, the AND gate can be represented by a dot, the OR gate by a plus symbol, XOR is a plus symbol with a circle around it, and NOT is an overbar which goes above the section which it is knotting. So let's look at some examples now of combining these Boolean operators and seeing how these might be expressed as text in the exams. So here we have an OR gate and as it's two inputs, it's receiving an AND gate and a NOT gate. Now, the first thing to do here is to label up the three inputs. Well, that's A, B and C and label up the final output. That's D. So we're going to start with D equals because the output is D. So what is D equal to? Well, D is equal to the output of A and B or not C. So at the top there, we can see the textual based Boolean expression for the logic diagram on the screen. D equals A and B or not C. OK, so let's have a look at another one. Here we have three gates in sequence. We have an OR gate, and that's leading into one of the inputs of an AND gate, and that's leading into a NOT gate. Again, we start by labelling up all the inputs and the final output. Our Boolean expression is going to be D is equal to, so the output is equal to, NOT C AND the output of A or B. Now you'll notice here there's actually more than one possible way of writing this Boolean expression. So it would have been perfectly fine to have said D equals not A or B and C. Now at first this can seem a little confusing, like there must be one possible answer. Well, not really. You can think of a Boolean expression just like a maths expression. There's not one way of writing many maths expressions. For example, three plus four plus five is exactly the same as five plus three plus four. They're both the same mathematical expression. We've just changed the order of some of the terms. OK, so we've got one more example here to see if you've got this. I've labelled up the inputs and the output. Pause the video, get out a scrap of paper and see if you can write out the Boolean expression. 
So what you should have ended up with here is D equals A X or B and not C. Now again, it doesn't matter which way round you put the two inputs to the final AND gate. So you could have easily written this as D equals not C and A X or B. They're both the same. Thank you.